I made a video about George Wald, so if you need to know his background, besides the fact that he was Nobel Prize winner, uh, I suggest you watch video one on George Wald. I just want to give this one a short here. Here's one of George's quotes uh, that you can decide for yourself if this is nonsensical science or not. Desperation, it is, you're on the hoof. If the germ plasm wants to swim in the ocean, it makes itself a fish. It makes itself a fish. If the germ plasm wants to fly in the air, it makes itself a bird. If it wants to go to Harvard, it makes itself a man. The strangest thing of all is that the germ plasm that we carry around within us has done all these things. Now, he, needs, he gives it three billion years for that ambitious germ to first want a career as a fish, and then the, his friend, the other one, the other ambitious germ, I don't know why some germs are more ambitious than others. George, if you were alive, I'd like to ask him that. But yeah, I never could see anything in his writings that explained it. So that one wants to fly. So it just becomes a bird. Now, I'm thinking to myself, if I wanted to become handsome, it wouldn't even happen because I wanted to. Given a billion years, I'm thinking I've done pretty poor in 75 years. Can a million imagine what would happen if I lived a billion or two or three? In this case, he up his bid. He used to say two billion. Now he's already saying five, three billion. Uh, and then the strangest thing of all, it can make itself into a man who wants to go to Harvard. The ambitious germ sure is able to do a lot in this scientist's mind. But if I talked like that today, I suppose they'd put me in the home and I'd start looking for one. But in George's case, nope, they treat him like he's really somebody to be listened to. You make up your own mind whether you want to listen to this. I'm just trying to tell you, he's, he's really, in the end of it, you'll find that he has this idea of the eternal mind. He's kind of distinctive. He thinks that the mind wasn't a late evolutionary product. He believes it to have preceded the evolutionary product, or at least be at the very core of it, so that all this design that you see can't come from God, of course, but it could certainly come from the mind of all the old George Walls. Well, in his case, he'd say from the ambitious germ's mind. You, you figure out for yourself how clever these guys are, will you? And, and email me and let me know how, how that verdict came out.